Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what are your person's current feelings for the third party? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, so of course, this reading is very specific. This is only for those of you Virgos who are dealing with someone who you know is currently dealing with or involved with a third party apart from you, a romantic third party. All right, so I'm going to take a look at their current feelings for that third party, and then afterwards, I'll take a look at their current feelings for you, Virgo. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the third party, please? The person Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love. What are this person's current feelings for the third party? All right, first card we have here is the Two of Cups. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. At the bottom here is the Ten of Swords. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands. I see. Okay. Mm hmm. Three of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Mm hmm. I see. Okay. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. All right, so in regards to this third party. Sorry, I'm just analyzing the whole story here before I say anything to you. Just want to make sure of what I'm looking at here. Because there's two stories here and they're kind of intertwined with each other. So you might not resonate with um, the energy that I'm going to pick for you. You, you. This might be your energy over here or your relationship here. But I feel like this person is trying to like find someone new. Let me just tell you the energy. They're trying to find someone new. Because they feel like their current relationship is failing. I'm going to call this person the new person over here. Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Cups. I'm going to go ahead and call this the new person. And I'm going to get I'm going ahead and call you. I'm going to call you Virgo, the person that they um have been trying to uh build up a relationship with. The the person that they've been dealing for a while but haven't been successful with in regards to Establishing a stable relationship. So because they haven't been able to successfully establish a stable relationship with you, they're trying to find um, a new person, a new relationship. And I feel like they're talking to someone new, and that's the third party. The new person that they're talking to is the third party. The new person that they're getting to know, because this... This feels like the energy of, of getting to know someone. Like, it feels like the beginning stages with the Three of Cups, the beginning stages of getting to know someone new. You know, there hasn't been anything big happening here, nothing grand, nothing like serious. It feels like casual dating or casual conversation between them and this third party um, because it's kind of like they just want to see what else is out there they just want to see if maybe they 
um, unexpected, unexpectedly find a new connection that they feel good about that could then help them get over their relationship with you which again they feel like their relationship with you is going south with the ten of swords it's going south it's it's falling apart it's not growing, it's not expanding, it's not head, headed anywhere. They feel like it's, it's a relationship they need to like cut off. And it does hurt them though. I see their energy. Keep in mind, this could be you that I'm talking about, I don't know. But I feel like it hurts them. It hurts them to cut off this relationship with you but they feel like they have no choice. They feel like there's nothing left for them to do. As much as they really want to be with you with the four of wands, as much as they feel really passionate about you and, and have a lot of desire to be with you, they feel like there's nothing they can do to fix the relationship with you or to make it better for whatever reason. I don't know why. So they are carrying a broken heart, but with this broken heart, they are trying to put themselves out there to get to know someone new and, and you know make the attempt to establish a new connection so that they can move on as quickly as possible from their relationship with you. It looks like it's not going so well though with the Eight of Swords. It looks like um, this endeavor of theirs to fall in love with someone new as quickly as possible. I don't feel like it's panning out. the way they were hoping it would. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Swords. Yeah, because there is an energy of, I just want to fall in love again. Like, I want to fall in love with, again. I want to fall in love with someone new. I want to get consumed in, an, in a brand new relationship because then I'll be able to completely move on from my relationship with Virgo as quickly as possible. All right, uh, again, it's not working out though with the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Oh, well, well, well. The Two of Cups showing up with the Eight of Swords. Yikes. You know what it is, Virgo? I just feel like this person is in love with you. That's their problem. And they thought that that would be a problem they could easily fix. Or they were hoping that that was a problem they could easily resolve and fix. But... It doesn't work that way. There's no miracle cure. There's no miraculous cure. There's no quick fix in regards to like unfalling in love with someone. That takes time. That takes a lot of time. And it's more, a, it's more a transmutation of energy and emotions than it is eliminating the emotion. I don't feel like you necessarily can eliminate your feelings 
it's more it's more so that you transmute it and that takes time but i feel like this person was hoping that there would be a a miracle cure or a quick fix so that's their problem with this endeavor here of trying to fall in love with someone new they can't fall in love with someone new if there's already someone occupying their heart in a big way. Not even, it's not even in a small way. It's in a big way. It's the two of cups, which means that you're occupying their entire heart. So what are they going to do? Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. All right, I need to know what's going on with you. So let me finish up here. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Oh, Eight of Swords again, double Eight of Swords. So they're very, very stuck. Very, very, very stuck. Stuck on you, the Two of Cups. All right, we get it. So this doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Actually, I, I just want to, I think we should just, Find out what's the outcome between them and this third party right now. Like, why don't we just do that right now and, and get it over with? Because this looks like something that's going to crash and burn, like the tower card, very quickly, very soon. This was a, a failed, miserable attempt on this person's part to get over you and to, mo and to move on from you. But let's confirm. Let's um, verify. Spirit, what's the outcome between this person and, the, and this third party, please? Where is this headed moving forward into the future? All right, so we have the Nine of Cups in the outcome. Tell me more. We also have the Page of Wands in the outcome. And, well, 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 the Ten of Wands in the outcome. No tower? No, Lovers and the, yeah, look at that. Lovers and the Three of Wands. So the heart wants what it wants is what I'm getting here then. Who sings that song? I think it's Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez has a has a song called "The Heart What The Heart Wants What It Wants." I feel like I'm I'm channeling that specific song right now, with the lovers and the three of wands showing up here. So in the outcome, um, this looks like um, a whole bunch of small talk. A whole bunch of small talk that is going to be. Um, comforting, very comforting for a while, but then we have the Ten of Wands. That this is when it's no longer comforting anymore. Not it's going to turn into something that feels like a chore. You know, the small talk that was once comforting is going to become a chore. It's going to feel like a chore. Why? Because their heart is just not going to be in it. Why? Because their heart is somewhere else. Three of Wands. Their heart wants to be somewhere else. Wants to be with, wants to be with someone else. That would be you. Okay. Well, I think I'm done there. Let's take a look at their current feelings for you, Virgo, now. I think I'm going to clean this up. Actually, I think I want these cards. Yeah, let me take these cards. Let me go ahead and take... Um, let me just leave the original cards here. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. All right, Sperry, what are this person's current feelings for Virgo now, please? Get a quick shuffle. 
Oh, this is, oh, hold on. This wasn't the deck I was going to use, but who knows, maybe I was meant to use it. I was gonna use this deck, but that's okay. All right, what are this person's current feelings for Virgo? So in their current feelings for you, we have the Two of Swords. I feel like this person is like upset with you. I'm getting that energy like upset or angry with you. Two of Swords with the Chariot. With the Nine of Cups. Two of Swords and the Chariot and the Nine of Cups is their current feelings. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like an energy. Yeah, anger. Look at that. Hangman and the Five of Wands showing up here. I'm getting like an energy of anger. This person's angry because they feel like they didn't get what they wanted with you. I am getting a controlling energy coming from this person. Sorry, that's my chair making noise. With the Chariot and the um, Nine of Cups, this feels like a very controlling, possessive type of energy. Um, I feel like this person wanted to establish a relationship with you. Um, specifically customized to, to them. And they might not have been necessarily taking your feelings and your desires into account is what I'm getting. Because I'm getting kind of like a my way or the highway type of energy from them. Like, you know, I want things this way, I want things that way. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this vibe that this person has. This feels like uh, someone who's very one-sided, very manipulative, but they want you. And they're all about you, but it, it feels obsessive and it feels like... It feels obsessive and it feels a little bit toxic or unhealthy because they're dominating the relationship. And again, they're not really thinking about your feelings or about what you want. I feel like they just want to make you into the person that they want you to be. And make this relationship into the relationship that they want it to be. Regardless if you, regardless if you want that or not as well. So... It just kind of looks like this person has a lot of ego or just has, has a lot of controlling tendencies. Let's see what you say. Tell me about Virgo's um, feeling spirit. How does Virgo feel about this person that's showing up in the reading? All right, Virgo, looking at your feelings for them... We have judgment in your feelings. We also have the sun. And we also have, interesting, the five of swords. Okay, so there, there is ego here. There's, there's an issue of ego. Five of swords and the sun. You are looking at this person like they're very um, selfish or self-absorbed, self-centered. Okay, bottom of the deck, seven of wands. Some of you have blocked this person. Seven of cups, ooh, empress. Oh, okay, so some of you have blocked this person or, ha or you've put up boundaries with this person because um, they're very inconsistent and very unreliable with the seven of cups. So they say they want you. They say you're the only one for them. They say they're serious about you, but they don't act 
that way. They don't behave that way. They, be, they behave as someone who is keeping their options open, or as someone who's indecisive, someone who is, you know, exploring other, other connections or, you know, other possibilities. Uh, it's kind of like their attention is divided and you're showing up as an empress here, Virgo, male or female. So you want this person to be committed to you and to actually demonstrate that they're committed to you because that's how you are. You're, you're a person of commitment and you, you don't just say, say it, you actually demonstrate it as well. So it kind of looks like you two, you two have had issues and problems with each other, um, or you have had issues and problems with this person because um, they're not they're not consistent, or you don't feel like they're fully committed to you. You feel like they they play games with you and they manipulate, they try to manipulate you. All right, so I want to look at the outcome. What am I missing here? So in regards to their current feelings for you, let me go back here. Like I said, I feel like this person is angry at you and upset with you because they feel like you're not, you're not following the program that they set up or you're not following, you know, their leadership. Why is the two of swords here, Spirit? Let me just clarify that one. You know, I feel like this person wants, you, wants to make you feel jealous is what I'm getting also. I feel like this person might be trying to maybe try they might be trying to make you feel jealous or to get a reaction out of you to provoke a reaction out of you it kind of looks like this person wants your attention they want your attention they feel like you're not giving them that attention that they want so i also feel like they might be utilizing this third party to supposedly move on from you But it feels like they really want to, what they really want is to get a reaction out of you. Three of Cups is here. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, yeah. Three of Cups, Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. This is what I just said right now. I feel like this person is being a little bit sneaky or being a little bit um, underhanded here. Trying to... Move on, yes, but in reality, trying to get a reaction, trying to provoke a reaction from you. Yeah. Because they are pissed. I feel like they're pissed and they're angry. Why is this person angry? I want to know that. Spirit, why is this person upset and angry with Virgo? Why is this person angry with Virgo? The King of Cups. Ooh, manipulative, huh? I feel like this person is just very manipulative. They're very manipulative. They want what they want right away. They want what they want right away. But they won't give anything in return. You know, that's the thing. It's okay to want something, but you know, this is a, a relationship is between two people and there has to be an equal give and take. And I feel like that's the problem. I feel like this person wants things from you for free and they want it immediately. No questions asked, you know?
yeah, very manipulative for sure. Emotional manipulation, and I'm getting, I'm also getting like gas, uh, gaslighting. I feel like this person has tried to gaslight you in the past. All right, where is this headed? Let's take a look at the, the outcome. All right, let me get these cards here. Let's see. All right, give me a second. I'm just cleaning up here. Let me get these cards too. All right, Spirit, um, tell me the outcome, please, between Virgo and this person moving forward. What's the outcome going to be between Virgo and this person moving forward, please? All right, so in regards to the outcome, we have two of pentacles. Sorry, we have two of pentacles, we have queen of pentacles, and we have the six of swords. Oh, okay, so kind of looks like you are going to have to make a decision. The reason why you have to make a decision is because this person is not going anywhere. They're just acting and pretending and, you know, playing a role here of poor me, woe is me, I'm, is what I'm getting. Because I feel like they're trying to make it seem like you're the villain here or you're the bad guy. But deep down inside, this person knows that you're not the bad guy. You, you're someone who has been very good to them. And you're someone who has a lot of worth and has a lot of value. And you're someone who they have a really deep emotional connection to. Because that part is true. I feel like that part is true. They definitely have very deep feelings for you. Um, they just don't know how to be mature with those feelings, you know. But the thing is that they are going to come back towards you. They're going to get rid of this third party like I showed you. And they're going to come back towards you. And you're going to have to make a decision in regards to the outcome. This is you deciding... Um, you're showing up as queen of pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, but this is you deciding or trying to decide whether you should move on or not. Six of swords is about moving on. Let me look at the bottom of the deck and the outcome, two of swords to the six of pentacles to the two of wands. Yeah. Okay. Two, three twos, two of pentacles, two of swords and the two of wands. All right. So, you know triple confirmation that you will have to make a decision in the future about this relationship in regards to are you going to keep it are you going to stay with it are you going to stick with it or are you going to move on you also have a lot of care for this person and a lot of feelings for this person um, but this person is very immature and it, it feels to me like they're draining you with the queen of pentacles they're depleting you and they're draining you and they're using you for all you got and they're not giving anything back in return is what i'm getting i mean any advice for virgo spirit any advice for in regards to what should virgo do Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords the advice? That's weird. And the Fool. I don't know. This kind of feels like an energy of like someone defending themselves, you know? Or standing up for yourself. I feel like that's the advice, you know? Stand up for yourself. Defend yourself. Don't let this person play games with you or manipulate you. You don't need them with the Fool card. Um... There's tons of opportunities out there for you if you decide to break free from this relationship. Um, you're not going to be without opportunities. There's a lot more that you can experience and a lot better. I feel like this person is jealous of you, you know? I don't know about what, for what reason, but I feel like they're jealous of you. 
It almost feels like they wish they could be you. Maybe you're very well established. Maybe you win a lot of money or you're, or you just, you're very stable financially. Maybe you have a good career. Uh, maybe you, you have your own house or, or maybe it's just, you know, you're a confident, mature, stable person. And that's something that they just don't harness. I feel like they're jealous of you. It's kind of like they love you, but they're, they're also jealous of you and of what you have and of what you've been able to accomplish in your life is what I'm getting. And, and the person that you are is also what I'm getting. Just, just simply the person that you are. They just feel, they, deep down inside, they feel like you're, you're better than them in many ways. All right. Um, Virgo, that's what I have for you. I hope this made sense to you. I hope it helped. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.